One Man Hide and Seek, aka the One Man Tag, is a ritual for contacting the dead, the spirits which are wandering the restless on earth are always looking for bodies to possess. In this ritual, you will summon such a spirit by offering it a doll instead of a human body. Warning, if you have psychic abilities, you may feel unwell or be prone to accidents during the ritual. Things you will need. One stuffed doll. It must have limbs. Rice, enough to stuff doll full one needle, and one crimson thread, one pair of nail clippers, one sharp-edged tool such as a knife, glass shard, or scissors, one cup of salt water, natural salt would be best, a bathroom with a bathtub and some sort of counter, a hiding place, preferably a room purified by incense and a hunda. There must be a TV inside. Preparation. Take out whatever the doll is stuffed with. Once all of its stuffing is removed, restuff it with rice. Clip off a few of your nails and put them inside the doll. Sew up the opening with crimson thread. When you finish sewing, tie the doll with the rest of the thread. Go to the bathroom and fill your bathtub with water. Return to your hiding place and put the cup of salt water on the ground. How to do it. Give a name to your doll. The name can be any but your own. When it is 3 a.m., say the name you gave it. Hold on. To the... Say the name you gave it. It is the first it. To the doll three times. Go to the bathroom and put the doll into the water-filled bathtub. Turn off all the lights in your house. Go to the hiding place and switch on the TV. After counting to ten with your eyes closed, return to the bathroom with the edged tool in your hand. Go to the bathtub, say to the doll, I have found you. Stab the doll with the edged tool. Say, you are next, it. As you take the doll out of the bathtub and leave it on the counter in the bathroom, as soon as you pull it, as soon as you put the doll down, run back to your hiding place and hide. How to finish? Pour half a cup of salt water into your mouth. Do not drink it, just keep it there. Get out of your hiding place and start looking for the doll. The doll is not necessarily in the bathroom. What ha whatever happens, do not spit out the salt water. When you find the doll, pour the rest of the salt water in the cup over it. Then, spill out the salt water in your mouth onto it as well. Say, I win, three times. This is supposed to end the ritual. After this, make sure you dry the doll, burn, and discard it later. Most important. Please do not stop the ritual halfway. You must do it through to the end. This is a dangerous ritual and will not be res and I will not be responsible for what happens to you if you try. Other things to keep in mind. Do not leave the house until you have done the finishing ritual. You must turn off every single light in your house when told to do so. You must keep quiet while hiding. You do not need to put the salt water in your mouth during the beginning. You only need to put to do it during the finishing ritual. Remember, if you are living with someone, you might put them in danger too. Keep the ritual game under two hours, or else the spirit will be too strong to remove. For safety reasons, it might be best to keep all doors in the house unlocked, including your front door. As well, in, as well as having friends close by, so they can come by and help you at a moment's notice. If you ever need them, keep a mobile phone close. At hand would be a good idea too. Notes. The rice represents innards 
and also the role of attracting spirits. Two, a crimson thread represents a blood vessel. It seals the spirit up inside the doll. Three, by cutting the thread off, you break the seal and release the spirit you have trapped. Four, if you go out of the hiding place without salt water, you may encounter something wandering around in your house, which may harm you in some way. The way you feel the presence of something wandering around is to watch what happens to the TV. You can hear changes in the sound. It becomes unsteady, repeats itself like a broken record, and becomes warped towards the end.